and welcome back to my youtube channel so today's video is a q a i asked you guys on instagram stories and also here on youtube to send in your questions and i got a lot of different questions some questions about uh, my life here in turkey and some more serious questions but also some about christmas so yeah let's get started but first if you're new here on my channel don't forget to subscribe i am a dutch girl and i'm living in marmus turkey and i make a lot of beauty related videos of fashion vlogs here in turkey so if you like that make sure you subscribe and now let's get started so the first question is where would you go in turkey for holiday um as you guys know i live in the south of turkey so i think i live in the most beautiful place in turkey uh, most turkish people also go on holiday in the south mostly bodrum fethiye marmaris um, also Alanya sometimes a place in Turkey that I really want to see still is uh, Cappadocia um, it looks so so beautiful over there and with the hot air balloons and just all the um, buildings there they look so gorgeous so I would love to visit Cappadocia but it's about a 10 hour drive I guess so it's pretty far but who knows maybe i would go there one day i really hope so then the next question is as it's christmas what's your favorite thing about christmas so i just love to make like my home cozy the christmas tree i just really love the cozy evenings with candles and hot chocolate when i celebrated christmas in the netherlands i really loved that my family was all together unfortunately here in turkey they don't celebrate christmas so i always celebrate it together with my husband because muslims uh, don't celebrate christmas so that's the reason but when I was in the Netherlands, I also really loved that my family was all together. We had dinner and the food was always so good. So that's also one thing that I really love about Christmas. Then the next question is, what's your favorite city in Turkey? So that's really boring, but I also guess it's Marmaris. Um, I'm not a huge fan of big cities. Um, I went to Izmir. I also saw a lot of cities when we were guaranteed in Tokat. We drove all the way from Tokat, which is in the which is in the northeast of Turkey. So we went through a lot of cities, also through Ankara and a lot of big cities here in Turkey. And it makes me really claustrophobic. The buildings are all super high. It's really crowded. And I'm just not a huge fan of big cities, to be honest. I really love smaller cities um, like Marmaris or Fethiye, Bodrum. Those are really touristic places. So obviously in the summertime, they are also crowded. But still, it but still I love it more because there are not a lot of huge buildings most of the hotels are also not that big they're like four floors or something like that and in Bodrum as well most of the um, buildings are super low so I love that and I just really love the cities in Turkey that has a coast and with the marina I just really love it so I guess Marmaris is my favorite city then the next question is what's your favorite winter food? Um, I guess I really love my husband's creamy pasta. It has like mushroom, onion and some other things in it. And I really, really love that. I also really love my winter Dutch food. Um, I will add some pictures and I'm not sure how you call it. In Dutch we say Andijvistampot. And that's my absolute favorite Dutch food. Um, so yeah, that's my favorite winter food. Then the next question is how to deal with missing family slash friends when living abroad. For me, this is the hardest thing um, of not living in my own country is that you miss your family and friends. Um, how to deal with it? Um, I guess to talk with them every week. I talk a lot with my mom, father and sister. We go almost every day or every other day. Um, through whatsapp video call that way you stay connected and to keep each other like up to date with everything so yeah i call my parents and sister um, a lot because you see their faces every week it doesn't feel like they are that far but obviously it's hard to not see them that much um the last time we went to the netherlands it was one and a half year ago my father was here this summer so that was really nice and now with the pandemic obviously it's really hard to travel 
So I don't know when I will go again to the Netherlands. I really hope this spring, but obviously I have no idea because of the rules, what will happen. So yeah, I just have to wait and see, but I really hope I can see them this spring. But yeah, I feel you because this is the hardest thing uh, of living abroad. I'm sending you all my love. Then the next question is, what's your favorite Christmas activity in Turkey? So like I said, Turkey doesn't celebrate Christmas. Um, although they make everything really cozy for um, the new year. So uh, the last few years we had a huge Christmas tree in Marmaris. Um, but they don't call it a Christmas tree. They do it for New Year's. So there's not a lot to do to be honest. Although not last year because of the pandemic. But the year before I guess. There, there was like a Christmas market and they sold like a lot of food and things so that was really fun I always love to get a Christmas drink by Starbucks um, That way I feel really festive as well But other than that there's not a lot to do with Christmas to be honest Then the next question is how to stay connected with your family in the Netherlands during Christmas So we don't do anything really special I guess I always send a Christmas card and I always make a photo in front of the Christmas tree together with my husband And I send them to the Netherlands so that's something that I do every year And um, how to stay connected Yeah like I said we call almost every day And um, yeah that's the thing that we always do Then I have two very long questions so I will just read them out loud and the first one is, I would love to know more about how your relationship started, if it's not too personal. Also, how were you accepted in the community where you live, his family and friends. I'm wondering because I'm dating a Turk, so maybe your experience can help me with that in the future. Thank you. So as you guys know, I don't show my husband on here. Um, he just doesn't want it. He hates like cameras and photos and all of that. So that's why you never see him on here. Um, I also don't share that much about my personal life. I mean, I vlog. But I don't share like a lot about my relationship. I also like to keep it private, I guess. Um, but how it started. So we are together for many years. And we met here in Turkey. And we had a long distance relationship also for many years. And then I finally moved to Turkey in 2016. We made that decision because it was very hard to get a visa for my husband. I was working as a hairstylist. And I just didn't get enough money to bring him to the Netherlands because you need a minimum um, every month to bring someone to the Netherlands, uh, which is outrageous, I think. But um, yeah, that was not an option for us. So that's why we decided to live in Turkey. Um, how were you accepted in the community? So my husband, he has the best family and friends. Um, everyone was so kind to me and immediately accepted me which i was so grateful for because i know it doesn't always go like that um, i have the best mother-in-law as well although she doesn't speak english and doesn't know a lot about my culture or anything and um, still we get along very well and yeah i'm just super lucky because also i know it doesn't work out always i know a lot of girls who are coming to Turkey and then realizing that their relationship is maybe not strong enough or that they expected something else. I think it's so so important that you have a strong relationship um, if you are moving because it's not always easy and you need also someone to support you you know if you are missing your family and I couldn't be any luckier with my husband he does literally everything for me um he's always there for me and yeah i think that's very very important if you are coming to another country so yeah i really hope that helped you a little bit then another question is hello from america hello <laughs> you have a great upbeat youtube channel and you seem like a very positive and happy person but i have a few serious questions do you earn money in turkish lira if so how has the inflation been affected affecting you and also the turkish families around you how is traveling back to your homeland possible when the turkish money depreciates oh i don't know how i pronounce this <laughs> okay i'm sorry against the euro and dollar turkey is a beautiful country and i would love to re revisit 
for an extended period of time but i've never realized until recently the economic issues that seem to be going on in the country and the stress it must be placing on the people who live there i hope all is well so i thank you so much for this question and um the first one is do you earn money in turkish lira so yes my husband is working and he earns money in turkish liras and um yeah the inflation and like you mentioned if you earn money in turkish lira it's just hard because everything is so expensive right now um i honestly don't know how some people do it we are lucky that we don't have to pay any rent this house is ours so we don't have to pay any rent which we are very lucky about because I know some people they have to pay more than 2,000, 3,000, maybe 4,000 liras every month and that's only the rent and if you have also a car or a scooter, motorbike, whatever um, I honestly don't know how some people do it especially people with children so we are lucky that we don't have to pay rent every month I guess that is a huge uh, part of money that we can save for other things like i already said due to the uh, pandemic i haven't traveled for like one and a half years but yeah i'm not gonna lie it is it is expensive and when i'm in the netherlands i don't have to spend a lot of money because i'm staying with my family i'm eating there and i usually don't buy a lot of things and when i'm in the netherlands because of the price because like one euro is almost 15 liras so you know if i want to go out for a coffee it's like crazy expensive and i'm just very lucky with my family because i'm eating there like i said i'm sleeping there and they always help me a little bit so yeah that's how i do it i hope this video was not too long and thank you all so much for your questions and um, if you enjoyed it please don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and I hope to see you guys very soon in one of my other videos. Bye!